Blinded by Science features the science-inspired work of five artists. The exhibit opens for Hot Night in the City Open House at Worcester Center for Crafts on August 1st. Hot Night in the City is our block party style open house that celebrates uh, the hot processes that we use in our studios. And Blinded by Science is a show that embraces process and celebrates where the mind and the process and the creativity come together. The theme of the show, Blinded by Science, refers to, uh, I think, to some extent, the artist's love affair with science, um, in part, but it could also be interpreted as the science is sort of blinding out art. This particular body of work was the result of spending quite a few years in an anatomy lab drawing cadavers. And what she wanted to do with her drawing was to honor the fact that this, there was life here, that there were souls involved in, in these bodies that are now presumably soulless. Linda Huey is uh, installing only a quarter of uh, a piece that she calls Dark Garden. She's really uh, ex exploring nature and nature's relationship with you know, the environment and how the environment is changing in a way that's not necessarily supporting nature. This is um, Michelle Logie. She calls these smaller pieces genetically modified. They're seed pods that are turning into animals. And she's, so she's exploring this idea of just how far our messing around with the DNA might go. Guhapriya Ranganathan, she worked very closely with um, people working on the Genome Project. Her work is all, it's a printmaking and drawing, uh, and it, it's a lot of lines and intersecting shapes with colors. My work is all um, based on circles. Um, the researcher that I ended up really focusing on when I was at Clark was a woman who was exploring um, the most efficient way of packing spherical shaped objects. And I started to look at what was happening with the overlapping spheres once they became disordered, as if you could sort of see through them and see all the overlapping curves. I think what there's an opportunity for here that there isn't always is a way to sort of trace the connection from the inspiration of the work to the actual work. There's more and more uh, interest in putting the science and artists together. For more things to do, see Go in Thursday's Telegram and Gazette or log on to www.telegram.com.